Hello friends, during this session we will learn in the master page in ASP.NET. First I will explain why we use master page. There are some situation or, uh, in your website when you need the same content in all the pages. For that, uh, either repeating uh, same code in all the pages, you have to create you will you will create one master page and by using this master page you can create your own content page you can create a nested master page too for example in this session we will learn how we can create a master page for that create a master page right click here then add new item then click on the master page then click on the add button your master page is created here you will uh, see the uh, code is by default written now uh, you can see here this is the content placeholder now i will explain what is the main use of as content placeholder generally content placeholder is used when uh, you want to add some content pages uh, in your website for first to create a master page we will remove this content placeholder then we will also remove this by default division tag now we will create our own division tag division id is equal to header similarly by this way we can create all the division as per our requirement i will just copy and paste I have created all the division page here. Now we will apply CSS on it. To apply a CSS on it, just click here, add new item, then click on the style sheet. <coughs> now we will, I will add CSS. You can add CSS as per your requirement. Now for just demo, I will just create CSS and I will add this CSS in the master page clear now you can see two content you can uh, add many content placeholder as per your requirement uh, for example in head part you will by default provided content placeholder in head portions content placeholder of uh, which type of thing suggest the head part of content placeholder suggests that if you put any CSS or JavaScript in your content page, it will execute for that specific portion only. Clear? Now, let's run the program. Remember one thing, you cannot execute master page directly. For that, you have to add some content page for it. For that, just right click here, add new item and just create a waveform clear and remember one thing to add a master page in your web form you have to add this select master page create okay add your master page name is shown here click and okay clear your default page is created the content placeholder which is available in your head portion is displayed here now we will run the content page you cannot execute master page you can execute content page look your master page is created this is your head part left right and center part now i will explain the use of the content page for example as you have seen here this is your center portion this is your center portion and you want to add some content in your center portion then what we have to do i need a header portion left right and footer portion common in all the web pages but i need changes only only in the center portion then what i have to do i have to add content placeholder in a center portion for that just type here content placeholder your content placeholder is added here clear now in header i will write h1 learn to all clear now i will just refresh my page you can see here learn to all clear now 
if I want to add center portion, then what I have to do? Just I have to create one content page that is home page. Home page. Select master page. I will select this master page. And now you can see the ID of content placeholder which I have mentioned in content placeholder 1 master page is content placeholder 1. So we just add our content here. For example, P. This is home page. Now I will explain what will happen. If I will execute a home page, then view in the browser. This is a home page. Clear? Now if I want to add some another page, default 1, default 2, then what I have to do? Similar by this way, we will add add new item web form page 1. Master page add. Now just write here P. This is page 1. Clear? Now I will execute page 1. View in a browser. This is page 1. Clear? Now if I will just add home page, I will I would just want to give a link a href is equal to I will add page one dot aspx go to page one then now you can see the real difference of master page look this is your home page I have executed home dot aspx look in the URL home dot aspx now if I will click on the page one then this is the page one but you as you can see the header footer left and right portion are the same so friends by this way you can create your master page uh, for a designing purpose or any purpose thank you for watching my video if you really like my videos please subscribe my channel thank you